Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something I've never done before. Um, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. Now, the reason I'm doing a makeup tutorial is because obviously Valentine's Day is coming up. Um, so I thought I would show you guys how I will be doing my makeup for Valentine's Day. And I'm trying to cover all kind of like occasions on Valentine's Day, whether you're out with friends or whether you like you're going out on a date, like whether you have a boyfriend, whether you don't have a boyfriend, whether you're spending it with family, like whatever. Hopefully this look will be able to cover everything. Um, first thing I want to say before I do it is I don't really like calling it a tutorial because I don't feel in any way, shape or form I am qualified enough to be telling people how to do their makeup. But I'm calling it a tutorial because that is what it's called um, and I'm just going to show you guys how I will be doing my makeup and leave your comments below if you like it or dislike it or you know whatever um, or anything that you saw me do that you would do a bit differently if you see me use a certain product that you think something else would be better in its place just let me know um, okay let's get started the first thing that I'm going to do is use my Krylon under base um, now I used this for a really really long time while I was on X Factor um, and I was really lucky because the amount of makeup that I was wearing on X Factor, I didn't really break out. I didn't really break out that much. Um, I don't know if it's anything to do with this, but I recently got a new one from Kylan, so I'm going to keep using it. So once all my face is nice and moisturised and underbased, I am going to take my little palette thing. Now, it's not a palette, um, but it, I use it as a mixing palette. I think it's actually like a candle sitter. I don't know if this camera's focused or not. Okay, I think it's focused now. Yeah, um, I use it as a, like, a little palette thingy, like a mixing palette. Um, I think it's like a candle holder, like you put your candles on it so when the wax runs down it doesn't go onto your surface but I mix my makeup on it and I think it's great for that. So my foundation, I'm going to do something a little bit different um, and I'm going to use two foundations. One's really dark and it's the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation which to be perfectly honest I swear by I absolutely love it it's so affordable you can get it in like boots super drug wherever um, and I swear by it I really love it and the second one I'll be using is the Kiko hydrating foundation and you guys know how much I like Kiko um, I will show you how, how I'm going to use them because it is it's quite complicated and it took me ages to get used to it so I'm going to put a little bit of the Kiko foundation and it's really light make sure if you do this you have a proper contrast between dark and light foundations otherwise it will not work um, I learned that the hard way um, so I'm going to put a bit of each on there um, and just rest that on my eye for a minute so these brushes I actually got for decoration off of Amazon um, I had no intentions of using them um they were just really 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 cheap brushes of brushes 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 off amazon and like this one as well um and then one day i thought i might as well try them and see how they are and they are really really good like i mean some better than others but you know might as well use them if they're there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my brush and i'm going to dab it into the really light one um, and i'm going to put that under my eyes in a sort of triangle shape under my eyes. There we go, yeah. And I'm gonna do that to the other eye as well. You don't have to get too close to under your eyes because it does all mix in at the end. So, oh, got a bit fast that one. So yeah, two triangle shapes under my eyes. I'm gonna take more of the um, like, what, like, like? I can't even talk today light one and I'm going to make like a triangle shape on my T-zone 
So you've got like three triangles basically. It will take you like some time to get used to this because it's a funny way of doing your makeup. Um, and then I go all the way down my nose, just in the middle, um, for highlighting purposes. Um, go out a little bit on that one. You can make this one quite a big triangle to be honest because it's got to cover quite a lot. Um, and then I'm going to put some, like just a little bit, underneath my eyebrows. Again, highlighting reasons. All of this is for highlighting purposes. Um, and then I'm going to put some on my cupid's bow. And that's to make my lips look fuller. Um, take a little bit more. I'm going to put some around the edges of my mouth because you'll see why in a minute. Um, if you put some around the edges of your mouth, because in a minute you're going to put dark all down here um, to contour, uh, and you don't really want to go, go in too close to your mouth, it makes you look dirty. Oh, Ricky's this time doing me. Can I call you back? Yes. Thanks, bye. Love you. Oh, Ricky. Um, so, where was I? Yeah, right, so then you take the last little bit and put it, I mean, this is gonna be quite difficult to explain. You wanna, you don't wanna put it on the hollows of your cheeks there, you wanna put it just slightly below, like there. Ah, oh, there, right, so where your ear thing is, this little bone thing in your ear, sort of opposite that, like there. Perfect, you don't wanna put too much there, actually. Um, that's not completely important. Okay, right, so then get a, well you could get a new brush, I'm just gonna wipe the light off this brush. Um, and then you start with the dark. Now, it's gonna look quite scary when you first do it, um, but it does work out in the end, trust me. So then you take some of the dark and you put it in the hollows of your cheeks and this is to contour, and you kind of make yourself look like a cat. That's what I think I look like when I do this. And then I get some more, and I just put it all above my forehead there. No, on my forehead, but like the top bit of my forehead, like above where you were highlighting. Get a tiny weeny little bit more and put it down the sides of your nose. This is to define your nose, and it actually does work, you know, it, it does work, trust me. Um, get a little bit more and put it underneath this light line here, put it underneath there. You don't need too much, this is just to define your, um, oh, got all my hair stuck, that's nice. Yeah, be careful of that, usually I put my hair back, but obviously I was filming a video, so I wanted to make my hair look nice-ish. Um, yeah, this is just to define your jawline. And it looks like, if I haven't forgotten anything, oh, and just put a tiny bit in the crease in your chin there. Just like that. And you can start blending from now. So I will be using, I'll be using a beauty blender and I'll be using a brush, okay? So I'm gonna leave my brush there for a minute. I'm gonna flick my hair back. Now with the blue, blah, 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 blah. now with the beauty blender, you don't have to use a beauty blender. You can use any brush, um, but with the beauty blender, I am going to start blending, I guess. And I'm going to start with the lights underneath my eyes, um, and I'm just going to blend all of that. There we go, I have blended underneath my eyes and I've blended the bit underneath my eyebrows. And there you go, you're done. Joking. <laughs> Make sure that's all blended in. And then you can start on this triangle on your T-zone.
Try not to get any of the dark on your beauty blender because then you're just going to blend it more into your face. But it doesn't really matter too much if you do. And go down the middle of your nose. Don't worry about the side dark bits yet. Just try and go down the middle of your nose first. Just dab some there on your beauty, on your beauty, on your cupid's bow. And then you can start mixing the dark. So I'm going to use a brush for this. Um, and I'm going to start with the forehead and just in circular motions, just blend it as best you can. But don't go on to any, where any of the light is. So blend it where it's meant to be, which is above the light, foundation, down the sides a little bit and then stop when you get to these dark lines. Um, and also, I don't know if I'm gonna do that with Beauty Blender or not. Well, also just take the edge of your brush and go down the sides of your nose. And that should start blending in. Don't worry if it's not completely blended yet. Um, and then we'll start on the hard bit. So this bit, I suggest when you blend this, you start, try and get as much hair out of the way as possible. You start up the top here, and in circular motions, go down, but don't take it too near your mouth. So let's give it a go. Try and keep it in the, sort of, in the same area as you've applied the foundation because um, the whole point of it is that it contours your face and then just bring in the beauty blender to do the light bit down there it is probably best to tie your hair up when you're doing this because it does just get in the way um, And then this line just under here is going to define your chin and your jaw. So just do the exact same circular motions and kind of bring it down your neck a little bit. Um, it doesn't have to stay on the jaw too much. Just bring it underneath your chin. And then, last step, just take your. And then, last step, just take your beauty blender and blend everywhere that still looks like too defined, if you know what I mean. So, just down the sides of your nose, a little bit more. I think everywhere seems to be done so that is your foundation done let's move on to powder and bronzer so the powder that I'm going to use again I'm going to be using light and dark powders um, the light powder I'm going to use is the Collection Pressed Powder, which is really, really good. And I'm going to use that in all of Focus. And I'm going to use that in all of the places that I apply light foundation. So under my eyes, in my T-zone, down my nose. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to lightly... You don't actually have to do this step, you can leave it as kind of like a dewy look on your face, um, but I think you have to apply less foundation if you're going to do that. Um, yeah. 
have to make sure that you don't look absolutely caked in makeup. So just underneath my eyes a little bit more, down my nose. Don't really have to worry about these lines down here, but I did it anyway. I'm gonna use this brush, um, slightly bigger version of the brush that I just used. And I'm going to take the Rimmel Natural Bronzer um, and I'm gonna go over all the dark, I think I can hear Jerry. I'm gonna go over all of the dark places that I used. Now when I use this bronzer, I'm also going to go down my neck a little bit. It kind of depends what you're wearing. Um, so if you're wearing a top like this, obviously you don't have to go loads down your neck. Um, because it covers, but if you're wearing something low cut, then you're probably going to have to fake tan. Oh, and some frizzy. If you don't get it right the first time, don't worry, I didn't get it right until like the 15th time. Um, so yeah, don't worry too much. Um, now I'm going to move on to eyes. You can choose for this look whether you want bold eyes or bold lips. I'm choosing bold lips because I want to use a red because it's Valentine's Day. Um, so I'm not going to do too much to my eyes. Um, what I'm going to use is the 6th edition BH Cosmetics palette. And there's loads of colours. Hold on a sec, I'll open it up for you. Um, mine's a little bit worn now. I don't want to put too much, there we go. Mine's a little bit worn now because I've had it for a really, really long time. Let's start off with a really, really light gold. Now, none of these, um, none of these colours are sort of like numbered or lettered or whatever. So it's kind of, you just kind of go for a colour that you think is going to match or look good. And I'm going to just put that all over my eyelid. Um, not too much of it, just so your whole eyelid's covered. Uh, and it doesn't have to be a very bold colour, because this is just your first layer of eyeshadow. But go over it a couple of times, just so you know that you've got some on there, you've got good colour on there. Um, so yeah, that's my first cut. I don't even think you can see it. Then I'm going to go for a much, well, not a much, but, you know, a darker gold. And you'll probably be able to see that. Yeah. Got so much gold. Where does that gold come from? Oh. Right, and I'm going to just go over the lid again. Um, and then I'm going to move on to a brownie gold and I'm only going to put this one on half of my lid, on this half, focus, I'm only going to put this one on this half of my lid. And then I'm going to move on to browns and browns is where it starts getting tricky because if you mess up on a brown you mess up the good. Um, I'm going to use a brown with a shimmer in it just to go with the theme and I'm literally going to put this brown in the crease of my eyelid so like when you open your eyes it's in the crease. So the eyeliner that I'm going to be using is the Benefit Magic Ink Jet Black Eyeliner. Um, I haven't used this in a really, really long time actually, but I can't find my other liquid eyeliner. So this one's a little bit worse for wear, but we'll just have to try it. Um, now the way I do it is I will follow the my underneath line of my eye. I don't even know what you call that, but I think that's where your tears come from or something. But I will follow that up. Um, very carefully obviously because this is winged eyeliner we're dealing with and everyone knows how seriously girls take their winged eyeliner. Um, yep, 
yeah so kind of just a little bit like that I don't know if you can see um, very subtle not not too harsh and then just pray for the best good luck to all of you who are trying to do your winged eyeliner right now Yeah, and then you start from the inside in, and this is where it starts going wrong because, you know, you don't know how thick this is going to come out. Right, okay, see the... Oh. So I've got a tiny weenie little bit wrong, it's quite thick here, so I need to make it thicker on the rest of the eye but that's always dangerous because then your whole eye becomes one big bit of eyeliner. Okay, so we seem to have done quite well with the eyeliner. They seem to kind of match. Get your mascara out. Um, now, I have so many mascaras, it's quite hard to choose, but I'm going to use this one, the Gosh X Dream. Not just X Dream, X Dream um, mascara. Get off any excess so it doesn't go all gloopy. No one likes gloopy mascara. Um, and I do like this step because this is um, when your eyes really start to come together. And then just take a smaller brush like this, like this, a really small one, and get a white eyeshadow and go under your eyebrows because I don't think it's necessary for a look like this to draw your eyebrows in uh, but you do want to kind of define them in some way and I always find that this is the best way to define your eyebrows without defining your eyebrows. I've suddenly like developed a cold since I've been filming this. Um, find yourself a blusher brush my blush was on the floor. Find yourself some blusher. The blusher that I'm going to be using is the from the Sleek palette, um, and obviously it's this pink one. And just do the tops of your cheeks. I'm rushing because my camera is about to die, and I don't want to have to do this in two sit downs. But whatever. Well. Um, I always put too much blusher on because it does wear by the time I'm actually ready to go out. It's really hard for me to decide what red lip I'm going to use because I have so many red lipsticks it's ridiculous because it is my favourite colour lipstick. So the first one is the Cryden Lip Stain but when I say it's lip stain I mean it's lip stain. Like if you get it anywhere else you're in trouble because <laughs> you won't be able to get it out for like two days. Um, so I always when I'm using this go for the majority of the lip and then do the outline afterwards. Let's just do that now. Okay, 
Now, because I decided not to do very, very bold eyes, you can really go as bold as you want for the lips because that is obviously the main feature. Uh, also, something really good about this lip stain is if you're going to be kissing anyone on Valentine's Day, then I don't think this is going to come off. Which is always a thing that a girl has to think about when she's putting on lipstick. So I would say that is really, really nice and bold. Um, what I'm going to do after is take my Chanel, which is one of my favourites as well, um, wait for this to dry and I'm going to turn it into a little bit of a gloss and the reason I do this is because you know you might want to start off with the gloss and then the good thing about it is when the gloss wears off uh, the colour's still there so it hasn't gone all like crackly and horrible and uneven where the colour's worn off throughout the day or the night colour will still be there and unless I've forgotten anything that is your makeup look for Valentine's Day slash night um, yeah so guys thank you so much for watching this video um, I would love to see you guys create this look so if you do have any pictures of you guys doing this look on Valentine's Day or any videos just send them in um, Leave your comments below of what you thought of the video and any videos that you would like me to do. Maybe makeup tutorials for a different occasion, I don't know. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!